One of the exercises in today's lab is looking at protein hydrolysis by bacterial enzymes. In this case, we're going to look for hydrolysis of a protein called casein, which is the principal protein found in milk. It's casein, in fact, that gives milk its white, opaque appearance. So for this, we're going to be using skim milk agar, which contains the protein casein. Now, when the plate was inoculated, um, you streaked two single lines down the plate with the two different bacteria we were testing. The plate was then incubated, and now we can see the results. We can see that the organism on the right did not hydrolyze casein. The agar still looks white and opaque, telling us the casein is still present. On the other hand, the organism on the left did hydrolyze casein. We can see the casein has been hydrolyzed or broken down, and the agar turns clear when the casein is no longer there. Remember, it's casein that gives the agar its white, opaque appearance. So this is a nice demonstration of an exoenzyme that hydrolyzes protein, in this case, casein. The enzyme was secreted by the bacteria, went out into the agar, and hydrolyzed the protein casein.